Hey guys, what is up and welcome to another video and in this video we are actually going to make a stamina bar and yeah, let's get right into it. So I've already set up a scene uh, which is very simple, only I only put an FPS controller and a plane so you can simply walk and what I've also done is imported the standard assets and yeah, uh, because uh, we will actually we don't need it but i'm gonna use the fps controller for this because most of you probably have the fps controller from the standard assets but you can also of course uh, do this with other uh, fps controllers or other player controllers so yeah we're just gonna make it with that so what we first going to do is um we make a canvas and we just go on ahead and Hit the 2D and double click on our canvas to focus on it. And what we'll then do is we're going to make a UI slider actually. And this slider here um, will be non interactable because it's our stamina bar. And if it's non interactable, we don't need the handle. Also, you can of course give your stamina a nice color. I'm just going to make the standard stamina color, which is of course blue. And yeah, this is now our stamina. We can, of course, um, the slider, we can, of course, make it a bit bigger if we want to. Um, yeah, and then what we can do is actually uh, center it on the bottom here. And maybe drag it a bit to here. Um, yeah, this looks nice. So yeah, this will be our slider. Um, the next thing that we of course need to do is now the scripting so for that we are going to open our character controller script which is this for me and yeah this should be the script for you um what you're first going to do i already did this is this will be it for you and you're gonna just put a uh, using unity engine a dot ui this is very important that you do it because otherwise it just won't work just to using unityengine.ui and then we're going to scroll here under private audio source which is going to, um, and then we are going to make a few floats uh, the first one is actually going to be our stamina um, and we can set it to whatever you want I'm just going to make it 100 uh, the next thing will be our max stamina uh, no float of course uh, max stamina and this will be also 100 and also what we're going to do is make another float uh, which will actually be just a number number you can call it whatever you want but I'm just gonna call it number and the last thing that we're going to do is make a public slider and for this we and needed the using unity engine.ui because if you don't uh, type that in you can't use sliders and we're just gonna call it slider so the next thing that we're going to do is in the start here um we are going to set the uh, number a uh, number here we're going to set it to our run speed and for the uh, standard character controller it's m underscore run speed um for your own it's maybe another but yeah just set it the number equal to your run speed so we have saved the run speed actually it's just there to save what the run speed actually is um then in the update we are going to make a if statement which will be if input uh, yeah, input uh, dot uh, get key get key and it's important that you don't use get key down you need to use get key and then we're just gonna key code dot left shift um, of course left shift is our run button if you have another button to run then you're gonna use this but I think most character controllers will have the left shift button to run so if we press left shift then we just gonna check if our stamina is uh, bigger than zero uh, because when our stamina is already zero 
we of course don't want to um, run anymore so yeah and if this happens then we are um, going to um, set the stamina minus equal 10 and important is that you use uh, multiplied with time dot delta time because if you don't use it um, then it's uh, different for everyone because then it does this thing every frame so someone who has 60 fps uh, for for someone who has 60 fps it will decrease uh, double or twice as fast as with someone who has only 30 fps so definitely do time dot delta time so the next thing that we're going to do is else if us uh, else if input input dot uh, get key this time we want to use key code dot w and if the player presses w uh, then we want to check if the stamina um is uh, smaller or equal to 100 which is of course our max stamina so we can also use max stamina it simply it really doesn't matter but we can use this too and then we're gonna put stamina plus equal no plus equal uh, 1f uh, you can use whatever you want I'm just gonna put uh, I'm just gonna use uh, 1f and then of course multiplied with time dot delta time so now we're going to put another else and for this one we check if uh, our stamina uh, if our stamina oh of course we don't um, actually what we can do is we're gonna put that later we can just copy this and paste it here and we're gonna change it to the up arrow because we also want to decrease stamina if the player maybe walks with the arrow keys instead of W um, ASD. So yeah, definitely put that. And then we're gonna put um, else uh, if the stamina is um, smaller or equal to 100. Yeah, you can also put max stamina, but yeah, 100, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, stamina. And then we're going to put stamina plus equal to F. No, to F, of course. And we're also going to multiply that with time dot delta time. Uh, so, yeah. The, what this script actually does is... If you run, um, yeah, if you hold the left shift to run, your stamina will actually decrease. And if you uh, go and like if you don't run, just walk normally, then your stamina will uh, decrease, uh, increase by one per second. And if you actually uh, stand still and do nothing, it will actually increase by two per second. So, yeah. That's of course very awesome and the next thing we are actually going to do is we're going to put um, another if statement. So if our stamina uh, is smaller or equal to zero and it's very important that you also put smaller or equal because sometimes the stamina will be zero point or minus zero point zero one three so it's very important that you also put the smaller or equal to zero. And if this actually happens, yeah, let me just do that. Uh, if this actually happens, we're just going to put our run speed, which for this is m underscore run speed. We are going to put it equal to our walk speed. So m underscore walk speed here. So this, is, we need to do that and else so if our stamina is not um, lower or equal to zero then we're going to put our m run speed our run speed to our number because uh, in the start we actually saved our run speed in the number so we can just set that to our number 
um yeah so the next thing that we are going to do is um you don't need this this is pretty much optional so we are actually going to do something else first are we going to put our slider that we created uh, a few minutes ago we are going to uh, no slider dot value it's important that you also put dot value so our slider value will actually be our stamina this is also very important so our slider actually so shows our stamina and yeah it should be working now so we can just save this script and um, on our FPS controller uh, here yeah uh, there should be um, here is our slider slot and we are going to put the slider that we uh, created we're gonna put that into it so if we now actually um, run the game and it's very loud um, it normally it should actually decrease the slider I don't know why it doesn't do it right now um, let me just see if I did anything wrong here uh, yeah um, why does it not decrease the slider value actually uh, this is a bit weird um, because we put that to stamina and our stamina should decrease um, so I'm just gonna make uh, we're gonna make a debug we're gonna debug dot log our stamina so that we know if the problem is on the stamina itself or on the slider and yeah we're gonna hit play and let's see our stamina is 100 and it actually decreases so i have found the problem now actually it's a very obvious problem but yeah um the slider value um here we can we need to set the max value actually to 100 yeah now it should work so if we press play now and then we will see yeah the slider actually decreases when we press left shift and we run and it actually increases when we um when we go just normally we walk and if we stand still actually now then it should uh, increase much faster so it actually works now perfect and what we can also do um from for some games i also use this um because if the slider is completely full um then maybe we want it to disappear um but first we're gonna make something else because uh, if you have probably noticed if we have uh, one or uh, if we, our slider is max value there's actually a bit here that doesn't really match so the slider is not really correct if we have zero it really isn't correct if we have 100 it also isn't correct but there's actually an easy fix for this here we're going to put this to zero and write also to zero or maybe the right one needs to be like five yeah and here also uh, here we can actually put it to zero and to five and now our slider is completely full so just go into the uh, into the fill area and those two values should be very good what you can also do is do it in the fill but it doesn't really matter so if we now have our values it should be working fine perfect um actually yeah let's try it actually out in the play mode and yeah now our slider is completely full um and when it's empty uh yeah everything just works fine now and now what we're going to do very quick is uh, make the slider disappear uh when actually uh, when the stamina is completely full so it's very simple you can do it very easily so you only need two things one if statement and we're just gonna check if our stamina of course is um under 100 and if it is then we need to 
um, put the slider and then dot game object and then we make set active and set it to true perfect and now else else so if um, our stamina is uh, 100 or even higher then of course we put the slider dot game object game object uh, dot set active we're just gonna set that to false so that was actually even it for this now let's try it in the play mode and it should be working fine so now yeah you don't see the slider but if i start uh, running you can actually see the slider and if the slider is full then it just disappears which looks very cool so your your eye isn't that distracting if you do this so this is very awesome definitely and yeah that was actually it for this tutorial i hope you liked it if you did you can of course subscribe for more tutorials and you can also comment what tutorial you want next because uh i don't have i really don't have any ideas on what people actually want to see so if you have any idea just write it in the comments and yeah i'll see you in the next tutorial bye